1973, celebrated children's author and essayist E.B. White, uh, most famously known for Charlotte's Web and Stuart Little, received a letter from a very distraught fan saying that he had lost all hope in humanity. E.B. White was 73 at the time, and he sat down and wrote this letter in return. Brookline, Maine, 30 March, 1973. Dear Mr. Nadow, as long as there is one upright man, as long as there is one compassionate woman, the contagion may spread and the scene is not desolate. Hope is the thing that is left to us in a bad time. I shall get up Sunday morning and wind the clock as a contribution to order and steadfastness. Sailors have an expression about the weather. They say, the weather is a great bluffer. I guess the same is true of our human society. Things can look dark, then a break shows in the clouds and all is changed, sometimes rather suddenly. It is quite obvious that the human race has made a queer mess of life on this planet. But as a people, we probably harbor seeds of goodness that have lain for a long time waiting to sprout when the conditions are right. Man's curiosity, his relentlessness, his inventiveness, his ingenuity have led him into deep trouble. We can only hope that these same traits will enable him to claw his way out. Hang on to your hat, hang on to your hope, and wind the clock for tomorrow is another day. Sincerely, E.B. White. Okay, so here is why I love that letter. Every day I wake up to horrible news. Um, it, it's the first thing I think of. The pandemic, the war in Ukraine, the, the horrible de political divide in our country and, and around the world the, you know, the global warming, you name it, it just keeps coming at us. And it's hard to see the silver lining. And I think what E.B. White wants us to know is that the silver lining is around us all day, you know, that the good in people is often overlooked and overwhelmed by the bad, but the good is everywhere. And if we just look around and if we see that, it helps. And, and maybe that goodness, when pushed far enough, will finally prevail. Um, it's filled with hope. Hang on to your hope, right? And, uh, and I need a little bit of that right now. So that letter has always been something that has, I've turned to over the years when I've been feeling a little overwhelmed. Uh, it's one of my favorites, and I wanted to share it with you. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this, please subscribe to Letters Aloud and enjoy this brand new Letter for the Day series.